We're looking at our study of the Bible today. We're looking at Origin Adamanatus. A D A M A N T I U S. <laughs> Western Christianity and Bible morals. He's a teacher. In 2002, when Origin was not yet 17, the Roman Emperor Septimus Severus ordered Roman citizens to openly practice Christianity to be executed uh, openly practice Christianity to be executed Origen's father Ren Leondes L-E-O-N-I-D-E-S was arrested and thrown into prison Eusebius reports that Origen wanted to turn himself in to the authorities so they would execute him as well so we're getting to the church history here when he was 18 years old origin origin was appointed as a catechist c-a-t-e-c-h-i-s-t -E at the catechist school of alexandria alexandria is not the one we want we want Antioch. So, Origen's father was thrown in prison. Origen wanted to follow that concept, but he survived and went to Antioch. He was a genius. Let's say that, okay? Where he studied... Uh, Aminus Sacus, A M M O N I U S C A C C A S, the Egyptian philosopher from Alexandria, who was often referred to as one of the founders of Neoplatonism. He never wore shoes and slept on the bare ground. He castrated himself. Ouch. Matthew 19, 12. I'm adding the scriptures. This is done. He castrated himself, but let's look at the scripture. For there are some eunuchs, when they were so born of their mother's womb, and there are some eunuchs that were made eunuchs of men, and there be eunuchs, which had made themselves eunuchs for the kingdoms of heaven's sake. He that is able to receive it, let him receive it. And he took it literally. We stand on a man who was from who went to the Alexandrian school. And Alexandrian school <laughs> The Old Testament was in was interpretation was in a mystical formation formula. The scriptures are little used as they are written, quote and unquote. He denied the Genesis account of Adam and Eve. Well, wait a minute. This man is in the realm of Bible He's out of Alexandria. He spoke of the scriptures as mystical, denied Adam and Eve. And yet he is held up by the scholars as somebody important and great. Universal salvation after a purgatory type cleansing now he didn't believe in purgatory but there's a purgatory statement of his belief and then when when all people have been cleansed in the purgatory type atmosphere origin believed everybody went to heaven And this is a man praised by Bible scholars. 
He denied the physical resurrection. So let's get this straight. Jesus tells the Christians to go in the world and preach the gospel. And the gospel is that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried. He's saying, Stalin, he forgot something. Not according to origin. There are three parts to the gospel. That Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures. And was buried. And arose again the third day according to the scriptures. He believed that devils would be saved. Pastors should be called priests. Oh, I, I, I wonder what kind of field we're running to. What kind of tree is this guy sounding he's coming from? It's not a fruit tree, it's a nut tree. Bishop and priest help atone for sins. Okay. He's got the Catholic. He's from Alexandria. And he is raised up as somebody by scholars and even Baptists. In the Baptist class. And you are in the realm of when you get a modern Bible that is not King James. You are in the family of this man who castrated himself who denied Adam and Eve, everybody's going to go to heaven, devils will even be saved, there was no physical resurrection or will be, and you call your pastor a priest, and bishop and priest can help atone sin. And then Jesus would return after a thousand year millennial kingdom. Man, the church, of Catholic is going to bring in the millennium. Then Jesus Christ will show up and pat the Catholic Church on the back and the priests and everybody. How great of a job you've done. Friend, he's got it backwards. Jesus Christ comes at the end of the seven year tribulation period, the second advent. He divides the nations among the sheep and the goats, and he sets up a thousand-year millennial kingdom where the Jews will be in their land. They will be given a brand new heart. They, their sins will be cleansed and remembered no more. Jesus Christ will be seated as the King of kings and the Lord of lords upon the throne of David. For origin believe. Jesus would come back after the thousand year kingdom, let me tell you, of the Catholic Church with the Pope seated as the rule, ruler of all the, the world. That's the seven year tribulation period. Where the ruler of the Catholic Church, the Antichrist, will reign. Now, Origen produced the Hexava. H E X. A-P-L-A. It's a six column. Six columns each page. The first column had the Hebrew text. Masoretic text, the Old Testament. Number two column. The Hebrew text translating to the Greek characters. Oh, in the Greek. Re rendered a Greek word that sounded like it. Okay. Number three, the Aquila and Sinope, S N O P E, into the Greek text. A literal translation of the Hebrew text, column three. Column two, it sounded like the Greek word. Column three, it is the literal Greek. Four, the fourth column, Sinemics. S-Y-M-M-A-C-H-U-S, the Ibanite 
into Greek text. Number five, the Septuagint LXX, the 70. The Septuagint, the LXX, let me tell you something about that. Okay? That's the LXX. What do you think about the LXX? That's what I think of the LXX. It's an Old Testament Greek origin work produced before Jesus. Hundreds of years scholars, 72 of them, made up, made up, made up. It matches the philosophy of Philo and Pluto, or Plato, one of, one of them planets. The virgin birth, he rewrote not believing the virgin birth. Friend, you've got to believe the virgin birth to be saved. It is a must that Jesus Christ is 100% God and 100% man, and he could not be 100% God if he was born of Joseph or any other man, human. That the blood of, of God, Acts 20, 28, ran through the veins of Jesus Christ. The LXX, the writers of the LXX, rewrote the virgin birth because they didn't believe it. God manifested in the flesh, rewrote, not believing it. You can't have God manifest in the flesh, I told you, if you don't believe the virgin birth. So Jesus Christ, according to the LXX, <laughs> is not God. You got a Jehovah Witness teaching. And one must remember that Thomas said, My Lord, my God. And Jesus did not rebuke him at all. Our King James Bible comes from the first column. The first column is the Hebrew text, the Masoretic text of the Old Testament. Modern Bibles come from the fifth column. The Septuagint, the, the 70, the LXX, is the modern Bible. So when it comes to Septuagint, I mean, when it comes to the King James Bible, and it comes to origin sixth column, the King James comes from the first column. The modern Bibles come from the fifth column. And five in the number of the Bible is death. It's translation of Theodosian Greek text. I don't know all these big words. And somebody's going to watch these videos. They're going to say, oh, ha, 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 you can't pronounce it. Ha, ha, listen to them trying to pronounce it. You can't pronounce them either. And you're foolish. And some of you scholars probably say, ooh, ooh, don't get that truth out. Don't tell them the truth. Shut him up. And there are probably some scholars out there. Oh, wow, I didn't know that. And there are Bible-believing, evangelistic Christians out there such as me, and they're looking like, who cares? <laughs> and they know the name of origin, and they know the name of origin is a pollution. That it belongs on the wrong tree of Bibles, the dead tree of modern Bibles, whereas the fruit tree of life is the King James Bible. Now, origins work. The NIV. Let's, let, let's look at the NIV for a moment. As is written in Isaiah the prophet, I will send my messenger ahead of you who will prepare your way. Now, Plato said that Malachi copied from Isaiah. In the King James Bible, as it is written in the prophets, Behold, I send my messenger before thy face, 
which shall prepare thy way before thee. Malachi 3.1 Behold, I send my messenger, and he shall prepare the way before me, and the Lord whom ye seek shall suddenly come into his temple, even the messenger of the covenant, whom, in, whom ye delight in. Behold, he shall come, saith the Lord of hosts. Isaiah 40, verse 3, the voice of him that crieth in the wilderness, prepare ye the way to the Lord, make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Both Isaiah and Malachi, the RSV, as it is written in Isaiah, the prophet, behold, I send my messenger before thy faith, who shall prepare thy way? Origen said that Plato said it was Isaiah who Malachi copied from. He couldn't get from God. He had to copy, copy, copy. How about God spoke to Malachi and God spoke to Isaiah? The NIV is conservative Bible. The RSV is liberal. 2 Timothy 2.15 Study to show thyself approved under God. This is not found in the RSV. This is what a verse I'm quoting. Study to show thyself approved under God a workman that needs not to be ashamed rightly divine the word of truth. Friend, these modern Bibles, RSV and NIV, they don't even have 2 Timothy 2.15. They don't want you to study their Bible. The Catholics don't want you to study their the Bible. The Jehovah Witnesses don't want you to study the Bible. Churches with the, with the modern Bible don't want you to study the Bible. Because you'll find them and their teachings in great error. Origen had and quoted from the Basilian text or Byzantine text. Origen, uh, uh, 2 Corinthians 2.17 For we are not as many which corrupt the word of God. They were corrupting the word of God in Paul's time. But as of sincerity, but as of God, in the sight of God, speak we in Christ. Isaiah spoke from God. Malachi spoke from God. Origin, NIV, RSV, Modern Bible, LXX, the Alexandrian school spoke from man. Denied principal and major Bible doctrines as a resurrection. Adam and Eve, the, the virgin birth. The RSV, for we are not, like so many, peddlers of God's word. This is the RSV, the 2 Corinthians 2.17. I just quoted to you. For we are not as many peddlers of the word of God. But as men of sincerity, as commissioned by God, in the sight of God, speak in Christ. He took the word corrupt out and put the word peddler. Peddler in dictionary.com is a noun. Notice I'm not running to the Greek. I'm running to the dictionary. A person who sells from door to door or in the street. A person who tries to promote a, some cause, a candidate or viewpoint. So the RSV admits to himself, not only do we corrupt the word of God, but we're trying to peddle our corruption. We're trying to sell our corruption. We're trying to put out our corruption and we'll even go door to door 
with our corruption, and there are some that go door to door with their corruption. In the form of a visitation. There's a large Jewish population, so you have to be careful. <clears throat> now the Greek Platonic or, or Plato philosophy. The ancient Greek poets and writers. And this is the realm of in the Greek. <laughs> Philo of Alexandria. Oh, there's that name again, Alexandria. <laughs> is a Jewish thinker. All right, this is a Jewish man. Now, I, I support Jews. I pray for Israel. I pray for Jews. I, I want them to get saved, but. Jews don't believe in Jesus Christ. Who lived in Alexandria in the first half of the first century. Philo's deployment of allegory to harmonize Jewish scriptures, mainly the Torah, with Greek philosophy, was the first documented of the kind. So we're taking, especially the, the Torah, the law of God. And what we're going to do is we're going to put it in a, in a Alexandrian blender. And with that, we're going to put philosophy. And we're going to throw that on the blender, in the blender. And we're going to put the cap on and we're going to turn that blender on mix. And what you're going to get is sludge. And thereby often misunderstood. Many critics of Philo who failed to actually read his text assumed his allegorical prospect would lead credibility to the notion of legend over historic. Yeah, listen. Today, they are taking history, actual history and facts, and they're loading it up with, with legend. And they're loading it up, make our people look good. Or just actually just erase Erase names like Robert, uh, Robert E. Lee. Race Stonewall Jackson. Erase all that we don't like. And then we will sit in the think tank and we will write or rewrite what we want. About a race of people. About a group of people. About a religion, whatever, but we want to rewrite it. We want to do it over. Ignoring the facts. That's what Philo did. And let me tell you, there's a, there's a famous man in the Bible that said, there's nothing new under the sun. And then there's a, a worldly man that said, if we don't learn history, if we don't get from history, we will repeat history. Philo re represents the apex of Jewish Hellenistic, that's Greek, Snycresin, S-Y-N-C-R-E-T-I-S-M. His work attempts to combine Plato and Moses into a philosophical system. Let's take the great thinkers and let's take God. Let's take theology and let's take philosophy and let's make it a big pile of goo. And we're going to sell it. 
So they are tampering with the word of God. They are adding and subtracting and making their own works like Eve did in Genesis 3 with the scriptures and with man's philosophy. With the very word of God and the word of man. This is Philo. This is the works of Alexandria. <laughs> Applied to the New Testament. Nos, G-N-O-S-I-S, -S, refers to the knowledge based on a personal experience or perception in a religious context. Nas is a mystical or esoteric knowledge based on direct action or dealing with the divine. And most Gnostic system, the sufficient cause of salvation is the knowledge of or the equating of. It's what we know scholarship I dealt with a guy on a, on a particular Bible doctrine and he gave me no scripture but in the Greek I know the Greek evidently you don't know the Greek so I'm smarter than you Woo Knowledge of, the acquaintance of, the divine. And they're plum, dumb, stupid, and foolish. In the inward knowing, compared to the encouragement of Plotinus, P-L-O-T-I-N-U-S, that's Neoplatonism, Plato is Neoplatonism, and differs from proto-orthodontic Christmas Christian views. You, know, you gotta go to college to learn these stupid words. They can't make it simple. They can't make it easy because you gotta go get a degree. We want you to pay our colleges and our professors and our educators so we can make you more stupid thinking you're smart with a piece of paper. Gnostics are those who are orientated toward knowledge and understanding or, precep or prece yeah. perception and learning as a particular way of living. We're smarter than you. And that's what your pastor, your preacher, your teacher is doing. When they get up there in the Greek, well, see, I know the Greek and you don't know the Greek. And actually, really, buddy, you're wrong. Because there was a time when I grew up in school, I knew a whole, a whole Greek family, and they owned a pizzeria, and they had great pizza and they had great grinders. That's the best Greek I ever known. And my Greek was better than your Greek. Because, oh, I love pizza and grinders. And your Greek, I can... Replace your Greek with a Webster's 18... I can replace it with a Webster's Dictionary, 1828. Ooh. How they hate when I talk like that. The usual, me the usual meaning of Gnostic in the classical Greek... Remember classical Greek? We don't want the classical Greek. <laughs> Text is learned. Or intelligent. Intelligent. Such as used by Plato in the comparison of practical, intelligent. Plato's use of the word learn is a very typical of classic 
We learned that last time. <laughs> Tex. In which the Alexandrian is the center of... All that nonsense I just read to you. That's all the Alexandrian school. It's nonsense. They don't believe the major and minor doctrines of the Bible, so they rewrite it. They don't even believe that Malachi could be, that God could speak to him, that he was actually copying from Isaiah. Well, listen, the guy that gets up there in the Greek believes Malachi enough to go and take the law and bring the law into the church and say, you know, we give all our money, God's going to fill our storehouses. Forgetting the fact is Malachi is under the law. And then they'll turn around and teach, well, we're not under the law. But your message for tithing put us under the law. Oh. So you see what they did? They, that they don't have in their Bibles, study to show thyself approved unto God, a worker that needs not to be shamed, rightly divine the truth, rightly divine the word of truth, we don't believe this, so we're going to rewrite that. And then we're going to take philosophy, we'll mix it with the Bible. And that's the nonsense that comes out of the pulpits and the podiums of the churches of the men that believe this crap. Well, you know, and, and the biggest thing, the modern Bible makes it simpler and easier. Did you just read the, the blender job that I just read? to you about the Alexandrian and bringing philosophy into their crap? That when, and I've heard people talk about the LXX. All right, LXX, your people, your scholars, your knowledgeable writers of the LXX did not believe the major Bible doctrines. And they don't believe that Jesus is God. That's why the Jehovah Witnesses and that's why the Catholic Church all have modern Bibles and no King James Bible. Because the King James Bible says there is the virgin birth, the virgin birth, and as a result of the virgin birth, Jesus is God. It's that simple. It's that simple. And you have the work of the modern Bibles already to be seen. The work of the modern Bibles that come out of Alexandria Don't believe the majority of the major Bible doctrines. And the one, the major two Bible doctrines, the, the writers thereof, and the foundations of this, they don't believe the virgin birth, and they don't believe Jesus is God. Already throw it in the garbage can. And this is the, the, the nut tree of the modern Bible. And then they try to bring man's philosophy, man's knowledge, what man knows, into the pages of their <coughs> Bible. <coughs> Bible. Oh, I'm trying to say Bible. I can't say it. You know? <coughs> so there's that. 